Welcome to another AV Club Taste Test. I'm Associate Editor Eric Adams. I'm here with Associate Editor Mara Eakin. And today, our special guest, you may recognize him from the state. You will know his voice from the Risk podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Allison. Kevin, thank Hello. you for coming. Whoa, thank you for having me. <laughs> You're here on a pretty good day. Yes. <laughs> for this, I at least. I'm on a very chocolatey no day. Uh, so we have a variety of s'mores makings here. We're gonna put some twists on uh, the regular s'mores. We have these stuffin mallows. Uh, so we have some creme de menthe uh, marshmallows. All right. We have some chocolate chip marshmallows. And finally, peanut butter chocolate chip marshmallows. So everyone prepare your sweet tooths and uh, let's fire up our little tea candles let's here. Do it, do There's it, a, gang. you know, this is probably not the best way to make them, but this is how it's gonna happen. Pass these down. <laughs> <laughs> You're the, gonna have to catch it on fire, honestly. The lamest so flames. dainty. So Kevin, as our guest, you may pick the uh, the first <laughs> flavor that we're gonna try. I wanna try these peanut buttery ones. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna try the chocolate chip. I mean, I, I think this is a great idea to load them with things because I'm not sure I'm a, a fan of just your plain old garden variety marshmallow. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this is a really good idea. <laughs> Watch like our CEO come walking by just as we do this. Well, you've got like an exciting thing. I'm really like going for it. Oh, like, it's I'm a good really idea like... to let it t take the sides. Ah. Let it take the we sides, should... gang. <laughs> do we have smoke detectors in this room? So I guess the... Advantage of these marshmallows is that you don't have to put the chocolate on them. The chocolate's That's already the theory, in them. Yeah. Oh uh, my god. It's pretty good. Yeah. I think I'd still like more chocolate, like as the chocolate chip is concerned. This mint is great. I was thinking that you could use the strawberry ones and make like um like a Neapolitan ice cream sandwich. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. With like a chocolate covered strawberry. Kevin, how's your, your double peanut butter? It's great. <laughs> it's like kind of like a meal. <laughs> there used to be a bar I'd go to in New York when I lived in New York, and they'd bring you like a big platter with mm. like, you could order s'mores and like make them at the bar. Mm. Oh yeah. But they'd always bring you like fancy dark chocolate and stuff, mm. which was good, but I always just wanted like the shit. I wanted like mm -hmm. the crackers. <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to get too fancy with your s'mores. These are not your grandfather's s'mores. No. Nor are they your father's s'mores. Mm -mm. They are your s'mores. They are s'mores of the future. <laughs> <laughs> like Dippin' Dots, you know? A little freeze-dried marshmallows. Uh, that's another AV Club taste test. Uh, thanks again for sticking around. Another thanks to our guest, Kevin Allison. Uh, so, so great that everybody's uh, tuning in and watching and uh, eat these. <laughs> Uh, Stefan Mallows. God bless. All right, thanks, guys. Okay. We All don't right. s'more the way we used to.